क्वेश्चन नंबर एट पेपर टू वेजन टू टू नंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन द डायग्राम शोज स्मॉल रेक्टेंगल इन साइड अ लार्ज रेक्टेंगल दिस इज द स्मॉल रेक्टेंगल दिस वन एंड दिस इज द लार्ज रेक्टेंगल दिस दिस वन इज द लार्ज and the height of the large rectangle is x cm square this is the height of the large rectangle and the length of the large rectangle is four times its height so we can say that the length of this rectangle is four times so it can be written as 4x because the length of the large rectangle is four times its height the width of the shaded border is 3 cm this is given the width is 3 cm of the shaded border Okay, the area of the small rectangle is eighty centimeter square. The eighty centimeter square is the total area of the, the small rectangle. Form an, an equation in x and show that it simplifies to two x square minus fifteen x minus twenty is equal to zero. Okay, so the small rectangle. So first, uh, we must um, we, we must have to find the length and width of the small rectangle. So this is the small rectangle, and we can say that this is three. And this is three. So this is the length of x. This is total is x. So it can be written as x minus six. The height of this is small rectangle, and the width will be four x minus six, because this three and this three we must subtract from this four x. So length. So the area of area of small rectangle is. Length one triplied by width, and the length is four x minus six, and the width is x minus six. It can be written as height width, and it it should be equal to eighty centimeter square. So it is given that the small rectangle area of a small rectangle is eighty centimeter square. We must open the bracket by multiplying four x multiplied by x will be four x square. Four x multiplied by minus six will be minus twenty four x minus six x. Minus six x minus minus plus six is the thirty six minus eighty is equal to zero. We shift eighty from right to left. They call the sign of equal to. So change the sign. Now in the next step, four x square is the same. Minus twenty four and minus six will be minus thirty x and the plus thirty six and minus eighty will be eighty minus thirty six will be four. And four forty-four, so it is minus forty-four is equal to zero. Now the whole equation can be divided with two, divide it, divide by two. Both sides, both sides. So it will be if we divide it by two, so it will be two x square. It will be fifteen x, and it will be twenty-two is equal to zero. So it is shown.